Hey guys, welcome back. Um, in today's video, I'm going to be doing um, sort of like a makeup tutorial slash cleaning out my makeup. So there's some stuff that I've had for too long. So I'm going to go through, do a whole face and uh, try to look normal. Let's get started. Some of you may be thinking, Lily, what is on your freaking head? Let's not talk about it. I don't have one of those like fancy, I'm a YouTuber headbands yet. We're just gonna go with this one. Okay, so today I'm starting off with the L'Oreal Magic Skin Beautifier BB Cream in the shade Light. <clears throat> oh my God. Um, so I used to wear BB cream in the summer a lot because I didn't like to go out, um, with people and go swimming and all that stuff, uh, with a full face of makeup. So, but I also didn't want to go looking like this. I'm going to use a freaking what are these called? A beauty blender. I only started using a beauty blender like a couple years ago. I didn't see the point because... I just did it with my fingers and went on with my day. Okay, so here we go. Enough talking. Hopefully this looks better as I blend it. So BB creams um, sometimes start out looking like, and then hopefully they get better. Shoot. Well, that's fine. This is the last time I'll use this product anyways. I've looked worse. Um, but I've looked better. So that's that. Next thing we're going to go in with is concealer. Don't even know what brand this was. I'm guessing it was some sort of like elf brand. Don't quote me on that. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, it's a Maybelline. You can barely see it. It's a Maybelline, not elf. Oh yeah. That is orange. Cute. I like how like thin this doe foot is. I don't know. That's what it's called, this little part. I didn't know that until I started watching like all of Jeffree Star's videos. Okay, story time while I put on this concealer. Many of you know, many of my subscribers know already because I don't have that many subscribers, but for the people that are new and that they don't know and they don't follow me on Instagram, I had cancer all of last year and I didn't work. Um, because I was going through chemotherapy. These are the like, two things that I did while I was sick. I watched YouTube videos and I gardened. Started gardening because I saw this one video by Roots and Refuge Farm. They had a cattle panel trellis. So, like walked under it with all the beans hanging and I was just like, wow, this looks freaking awesome. And so I was like, okay. I went out and uh, got some dirt, got some plant starts at our local nursery. My good friend's dad built me two raised beds in the front yard. So I got two cattle panels and I did the cattle, cattle panel trellis and ever since I saw that video, I was completely hooked on watching that. I think I watched, in the six months that I was getting treatments, I watched pretty much all of their videos, including their vlogs. And I think they have like 300 vlogs, I don't know. Um, and honestly, that gave me the motivation every single day to be like, oh, I really, I want my garden to look like that. It's so beautiful. And so I got out of bed every single day and gardened in my front yard. And that's what I did for six months. I also watched Jeffree Star, uh, Maria Gloria, and I watched Brandon Ferris. I don't know where that story was going. That's how I learned what a doe foot was. That's when I got excited about gardening, that's when I got excited about makeup because on the days that I was feeling like poop, I would sit and make myself look good. So, long story, I don't know where I was going with that. Next up, we're gonna do a uh, contour. This is just the contour palette by e.l.f. It has like the four shades in there. So I'm just putting a little bit right here. So with contour, you want to bring back the life into your face after you just erased it with foundation. 
Now I'm just setting the concealer with the Photo Focus Wet n Wild Translucent Powder. Usually people let this sit and they call it baking. I don't understand what that is. Like I know it's supposed to like set your concealer in and everything, but sitting there with it on your face for a long time, I don't really, I never jumped on that like hype. So comment down below why you bake and what difference it makes because I don't see a difference. Let's do an experiment. So I'm taking that one off and I'm leaving half to bake because I don't know what it does and I want to see. I think my boyfriend took. Maybe not. Okay, so next I'm gonna do brows. <laughs> next we're gonna red your lips with this. Herbwise Wonderful Rose Balm. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, so that just revived my lips a little bit and gave it some color without doing lipstick because lipstick scares me because I don't want to walk around with it on my teeth and I don't know how to not do that. Okay, next we're doing eyes. This is my favorite part of this whole thing. And I got the James Charles Morphe X Morphe palette. This is so dirty but that's because it's matte black and it shows dirt really easily. <sighs> For highlighter, I'm just gonna use the shade Face. As you can see, I use that a lot. Then I do the Cupid's bow, which is just above your lip and makes it look like you just ate a greasy burger. Love this palette. Um, it is a little hard to work with because a lot of them are pressed pigments. Pressed pigments just mean that there can be more vibrant color, but it's harder to blend sometimes and you really have to finesse it and know how to do it. This one and that one and that one or That's a look. Let's do that. Okay, so I'm just gonna swatch these probably terribly. Where we go? Hello? That one. Ooh. This palette, I'm not like throwing out. I just got this as well, but I don't have any like eyeshadow palettes that um are super old. We're just gonna do regular eyes today. Let's do that blue. That shade, put it in my crease. I have hooded eyes, so you do a lot of work to make an eyeshadow look good. And then you open your eyes like you normally would and it just disappears. Take that pinkish shade and go into the edge, the outer corner, and blend that out. I'm going back and forth in between the pink shade and the purple shade, um, creating sort of like a gradient. Some of these shades in the James Charles palette are like so good, and some of them are like, you really kind of have to work with them. Okay, so that pink isn't doing exactly everything I want it to, so I'm just going to take a little bit of this far one right here and just add a little, like, a little bit of color to the pink that we already have. Let's see what happens. There you go. There we go. Starting to look how I imagined it. Next, we're gonna go in with, oh, what shade did I see? That blue. I'm gonna go in with just this packer brush. Take this lighter blue shade and put it all over my lid. Looks kind of crazy. That's okay. I like that. Next, I'm just going with that yellow with another packer brush. I'm gonna bring back a little bit of that blue on the lid. And then back in with the yellow. All right, let's finish our look. I'll be back with some lashes. 
Okay, so this is the uh, finished look. I hope you like this video. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, and hit the little bell icon at the bottom of this video so you get notified whenever I post. I will see you on the next one.